Alright yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy, the Def King here. I'm going to try to the brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about scope and returning. So these are not that um, they're not that simple. Scope is pretty simple, isn't that hard to understand, but returning is a little tricky. Now if you don't understand returning after this video is over, then please leave a comment saying what you're confused on. If you're confused on literally everything, <laughs> then just rewatch the video. Um, whenever I learned about returning in functions, I didn't understand it for like the first month I was taught it. Okay, I literally didn't understand. I was like, why do we use this? What is it used for? I was so confused. So I'm gonna be trying to teach you, um, I'm gonna try to teach you what I wish I learned whenever someone taught me this. So hopefully I can make it easier to understand than um, some of the other tutorials that are out there. Because, um, you know, I, I, can, I understand why it was hard for me to learn. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So first things first, let's go ahead and insert our script. I already have one, it's right here. Um, yeah. Go ahead and insert your script. You guys know how to do that. So, and then we're gonna go ahead and type in. Um, uh, let's let's make a variable. Okay, we'll call it local a is equal to two. All right. Now, when I taught you guys about um, variables, I told you don't worry about this local thing yet. Remember that? I was like, don't worry about that yet. It's not gonna be important to you. But local is actually starting to start being important because um, it has to do with scope. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. So let me just go ahead and write this code out. So we're gonna go ahead and make two functions, okay? We're gonna make a function called, um, or we'll make a we'll make the function local, local function um, test one, okay? And then we'll make local function, local function test two, okay? And now these are two separate functions, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna print a in each of them, all right? Now you're probably like, okay, obviously this is going to print a equal to equal to 2, right? Or it's not going to print a equal to equal to 2, it's going to print 2, right? And it didn't because I didn't call the functions. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but let me call the functions real quick, my bad. So um, you're going to go ahead and run this, and it's going to print um, 2, right? So it's print 2 twice because um, I printed it in this function and in this function. Now, um, if I were to change this, um, or if I were to get rid of this variable here, okay, and I put it in here, all right, I did local a is equal to 2, and I ran the script, it's going to print, watch, I'll show you, it's going to print 2 and nil, okay, so basically what happened was, um, the function, this function, you see how this function has like a little arrow, this is actually kind of useful for scope, but this function um, ha knows what a is because it was defined in the function. All right, you understand that it was defined in the function, so it knows what a is. Now, once it once like this function ends, right? So like get to the end of this code, none of this is saved. Okay, they don't know any of this, or like this script, like this entire script doesn't know what a is because it was only in this function. All right, so this function was like, okay, what the heck is a? Right? It's like I've never seen a. So it's, it's giving you an error actually. So basically it doesn't know what the heck a is so it's just saying um nil and nil basically means no value it's just like what uh, the, the the i guess like the the term is for no value in lua it just basically means no value but yeah so if i were to get rid of local it would print a. it would do twice because it knows what a is now because it wasn't local so basically that's a little bit of uh what, what i'm trying to explain to you here so yeah that's basically scope um um, if, if, if something is defined as local in like, or in like the script and it's not in any sort of indent, like if it's not a block of code in, inside of a function or a loop or anything like that, if it's just in the script, uh, there's no indents, that means the entire script can access it. Okay. That's what that means basically. All right. Yeah. So, um, that's scope. If you have any questions, please ask. I will always be reading and responding to the comments. So now let's get into returning. So like I said, returning also has to do with functions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean returning. So let's go into this. We're going to make a function called um, hi, all right? And we're going to make it print hi, okay? So um, we're going to call a function, and I'm not going to waste your time calling it because you know it's just going to print hi, okay? Basically, if I run this, run this right now, it will just print hi, all right? So... Um, but what you can do with functions, which is kind of cool, is you can make a function equal to a um, equal to um, a variable. So, for example, let's say I returned um, I returned 
uh, awesome. Okay, I'm I'm returning awesome now from this function. So basically, this function will go ahead, go through, and run all of its code. Blah blah blah. Right? It's gonna run all of its code, and then at the end of it, it's gonna return awesome. Okay. Now, um, if I run the function, it's not gonna it's not gonna return awesome to like the output or anything like that. It's just gonna return awesome, right? But basically, it printed high, which is why I said that. But um, it's not you're not gonna see awesome anywhere. So what you have to do to actually get the awesome is you have to set it equal to a variable. So you can do local um, local uh, hot dog. Okay, is equal to the high function, all right. So basically, all it all this does is it, it it sets this variable equal to this function, all right. Now it gets the value of this function by seeing what it returned, okay. So now local hot dog is equal to high, all right. And I can print hot dog, and hot dog will give me or will print awesome because I returned awesome from the function because I set it equal to high. Now you may probably wondering like, okay, why do we even need to use returning if we can just um, set it to a variable? Now it just comes up later on, you'll see when you're actually scripting. Um, it's hard to give an example, but um, yeah, that's what I mean. So I hope, this, I hope this really did explain it to you guys well, because when I learned it, it was really hard for me to grasp. So if you guys don't understand, do not worry, okay? You're not alone. I was just like you in, in your shoes like a couple months ago, so don't worry, and um, yeah. So in the next video, we'll be going about parameters, which is another thing about functions, so I know <laughs> a lot of function stuff, but parameters are really cool, and uh, they'll be used soon. And then after that, we'll probably be likely going um, over events, so that'll be cool too. So yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, subscribe, smash the like button, and I will see you in the next one. By the way, the um, um, sorry, my bad. In the, in the description below, there is a link to the playlist if you want to just watch the entire playlist um, instead of having to go find a video. But yeah, peace, guys.